All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we want to thank everybody for coming and thank you for our media partners for being here and, and covering uh, today's uh, press brief. Um, today, Scott County District Court Judge Henry W. Latham delivered a guilty verdict in relation to the disappearance and death investigation of 10-year-old Berasia Terrell. Following a 17-day bench trial, Judge Latham announced that 51-year-old Henry Dinkins was found guilty of murder in the first degree and kidnapping in the first degree, both carrying a mandatory sentence of life in prison. Brazier was reported missing to the Davenport Police Department on July 10, 2020, and was last seen in the early morning hours uh, that day near the 2700 block of East 53rd Street. On March 22, 2021, Brazier Terrell's remains were located in Clinton County, just north of DeWitt. Tough uh, situation for them. We have to continue as a community to embrace her uh, as they continue their path forward and try the healing uh, of this uh, horrific event uh, that they've experienced. Um, I'm deeply grateful for the dedicated work of the, of the men and women of the Danforth Police Department who have spent countless hours uh, over the past three years diligently working on this case. Uh, and because of your unrelenting efforts uh, is why we're here today uh, talking about the guilty verdict of Mr. Dinkins. Um, when we look at uh, our investigative unit, um, I have, uh, I just want to acknowledge uh, our lead investigators. We have Sergeant Jeff Pfeiffer here uh, to my left, um, Corporal Detective Obert, um, who's not available, uh, was also one of the lead detectives. But I also want to acknowledge uh, some of our uh, investigative management team who's not here. We have uh, retired Chief Sikorsky in the back who was here during this, uh, but we also have uh, retired Captain um, Brent Biggs. Uh, and Lieutenant Kyle Chisholm, um, who were very instrumental uh, in uh, this initial piece of investigation. Um, we also want to recognize our partners uh, from the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigations, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, Scott County Sheriff's Office, Clinton County Sheriff's Office, uh, for their excellent work in the investigation and prosecution of this case. Uh, this case has been difficult and demanding on all the personnel and their hard work and the dedication and helpfulness and rallying together uh, as uh, a law enforcement, as a community coming together uh, to help bring some closure and justice uh, to Briage's family uh, has been instrumental. Um, throughout this investigation, the Davenport Police Department and partner agencies together investigated an excessive amount of tips, conducted hundreds of interviews, and served over 60 search warrants related to Briage's disappearance. During this multiple county search, numerous local, county, state, and federal partner agencies aided in the search for Berasia by providing aircraft, drones, kayaks, boats, all-terrain vehicles, command centers, and countless other types of support, along with hundreds of personnel and community volunteer time. Uh, our community came out not only in Scott County, uh, but in Clinton County uh, to come and help um, with this efforts and, and investigative efforts. Um, I'll introduce uh, uh, or actually, I just want to acknowledge the Scott County Sheriff's Office. We have our prosecuting team as well. Um, we have DCI uh, with us as well as our Clinton County Sheriff. Um, again, I can't stress the enough um, with this very impactful case to, to Davenport. Um, it touched uh, quite, you know, further north into, into Clinton County um, with all the mutual uh, work and collaboration together. Um, at this time, I'm just going to introduce Scott County Attorney Kelly Cunningham to say a few words. Thank you. <clears throat> During the 17-day trial of Henry Dinkins, the prosecution called 51 witnesses to testify who provided testimony. These witnesses included investigators, forensic experts, canine handlers, and family members, with over 900 exhibits being offered and admitted as evidence. I'd like to thank the court and Judge Latham for his service and care in reaching this decision. I'd also like to recognize the diligent work and tireless efforts put forth by law enforcement to bring justice to Briasia. Um, I will say that having lived in this community um, since 1990 and having had a brief absence when I went home for a period of time and having come back, 
Um, I can't even begin to tell you how blessed we are um, to have the members of the law enforcement community who serve us and who have always done so very well and very tirelessly. And because of the talent and the commitment of each of you, um, that is why we are standing here today with justice having been brought to Briasia. So I want each of you to know who is standing here in this room today and for all of the officers who weren't able to be here, we are here because of what you have done. <clears throat> um, in addition, I would state that this case definitely demonstrates the outstanding partnership and collaboration between prosecutors and law enforcement who are dedicated to the safety and well-being of our community. Uh, that's another topic that I'd like to address. One of the things that we've always been very fortunate in being able to experience in this community with a number of law enforcement agencies at the local, state, um, at county and even federal level, all of our law enforcement agencies have always um, come together and worked very well as a team and have been very supportive um, in investigative efforts in any types of crimes that um, have been investigated. And certainly um, the working relationship that exists among all of our law enforcement agencies, it goes to demonstrate how each of you in working together as a team have um, helped to solve this case and again brought justice to um, Briasia Terrell and her family. Henry Dinkins will be sentenced um, at a future court date. The court had indicated today that the um, sentencing is going to be held on October 11th at 1.30 p.m. He has been in custody. He was actually taken into custody um, on June or July 10th um, when they had the initial interview of him. He was arrested on other charges and has been in custody in s ever since. But with him being found guilty of murder in the first degree and having been found guilty of kidnapping in the first degree, um, there is no bond and so he'll remain in custody until sentencing. And so with that, um, beyond recognizing our law enforcement officers, I would like to recognize members of the community. When the news stories came out, and this is where I think we should acknowledge our news agencies, you were so diligent in getting information out to the community about Briasia missing. And the community really rallied um, in response to that. The idea that we had a 10-year-old child who was missing, um, when we stop and think of what the potential outcomes were going to be and what I think we all knew in our hearts the outcome was going to be, so many people came to the table to try um, and find Briasia to prevent this outcome. So this case, it's so tragic, but the one thing that it does demonstrate um, is how the love and support of the community amongst our law enforcement members and just members of the community, um, what it does to let people know that we feel very strongly about what's going on in our community and we will step forward and we will do whatever it takes to protect our community and to fight for the rights of our children. So again, we as the Davenport Police Department also want to thank our community. We want to thank our media partners um, with the devoted work that our, um, that our uh, investigators have done. This has touched everywhere within this organization, um, everywhere from our uh, report takers taking calls, everywhere from our forensics. Um, everybody within this agency uh, partook in this. Uh, we couldn't be more proud of the work done by our investigative team leading the way on this as well um, as um, our community members who involved. Uh, but today is about Briasia, and I think we need to, as a community, pause and not forget uh, Briasia and what brought us here uh, today. This was a horrific, uh, tragic um, crime that, was a, that occurred in our community. Um, for us, um, we're here. We have the law enforcement here, but how do we stop those things in the future? So we need to continue to work together, continue to be vigilant, continue or vigilant, continue to be um, here and advocates uh, for the children within our community. Uh, but to Brasia, to her family, to, to Aisha, uh, who couldn't be up here with us today, um, we're here as your law enforcement agency. We're here as your community. Uh, we stand next to you and we support you uh, through this. And hopefully, this today. Um, starts to bring a sense of healing and sense of closure for you and your family. Thank you.